Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch. And today we are talking about the Enfusion game engine. Now, this was just announced by Bohemia Interactive. And I got to say, there's a really good chance you're never actually going to be able to use it. But you may. It's very strange. I'm going to show you the wording and you can make up your mind yourself. But to understand this one, you sort of have to understand Bohemia Interactive. They have made their own game engines going back to the dawn of time. Uh, their very first game, Real Virtuality Gravon for the Atari Falcon. Uh, let's just say it didn't sell extremely well. In fact, it sold. Uh, 400 copies, but this was the predecessor to the Operation Flashpoint games and uh, the Arma series, DayZ, etc. And Bohemia Interactive and uh, Suma before that have always created their own game engines in-house. Now, I start talking about real virtuality because that was, in fact, the name of their first game engine. Right up through uh, their their last game, Arma 3, they used the real virtuality Four engine. So it's, it's constant reiterations of that existing engine. Um, and they've done this, they've kind of been their own, uh, beating to their own drum because they're very uh, simulation based in their approach. Plus, they just like having their own uh, their own engine development, it seems. And more and more game companies are getting away from doing so. Uh, but Bohemian Interactive just did a big announcement of their new game engine, the Infusion engine. Now, if you want to check out the Infusion Engine, uh, it is available at infusionengine.com. And the very strange thing here is this is set up kind of as a sales pitch to developers to use this engine. And then we're going to see in just a second that it may not actually be available. So it's a little interesting, but I want you to know at least a little bit about this engine. It does look interesting. You can at least see um, the mentality behind, I guess we could call them an A. They're not a AAA game developer, but they're a large game developer that decides to do their own in-house technology. And that is what we're dealing with here. So the Infusion engine is built on 20 years of experience. Again, it's built on top of that real virtuality engine that goes back to the uh, Falcon computer back in 1995. Uh, so it's merged those things together. So that you can see uh, way back to Gravon for the Atari Falcon 95. That's when the real virtuality engine was started. And it was used for Operation Flashpoint, Arma, Arma 2, Arma 3, and DayZ all the way up to 2014. Now, coming th after that, they're now doing the Enforce engine, which again is built on top of all these things, whether it was Enforce 3D back in 98, and then Shade, Wrath of Angels, Alpha Prime, Carrier Command, and Take on Mars. Uh, so going forward, uh, you can see it is flexible, scalable, and fully multi-platform. I do not believe their old engines was available on console, so that is definitely one of the changes we're going to see here. Uh, looks good, runs better. Um, the new N4 script is faster, more capable, and better at money, memory utilizations. Uh, it is built for online, which obviously is an important thing in today's world. Uh, full of tools for all creators, so materials, texture, animation, sound, UI, localization. So the full creative spectrum. Uh, of modding and game development. So this is the interesting part. We've got it kind of broken down uh, into uh, definitions by each different um, industry. So here we've got, you know, what the gamer will get out of it. So peak performance. Uh, actually, I don't think that switched over. Let me just see if that actually changed. Okay, yeah, I guess it did. So you see, uh, believable game worlds, um, peak performance of your, you basically utilize all of your computer's abilities. Um, enhanced experiences, extensive modability. But then we get here, and this is what's very strange. Uh, we've got it for creators. This is people that are actually doing the, the, the game development inside. So why do they have this pitch towards uh, the end users, the end users technically, uh, if they're not going to make it available? So that's why it leads me to think that this will ultimately be opened up because this is very much targeted at people using it. So this one's more at the creators, uh, people making content, animators, that kind of stuff. So there's the workbench uh, offers you a wide um, offers you the same powerful set of tools that our own developers work with. Again, this wording 100% makes it sound like okay, you can use the same tools we do. This is a sales pitch. So this is what leads me to believe that this will ultimately be released uh, to developers out there. Uh, everything you need. Don't have to license any specific components. Free or open source apps like Blender fit right in with the Infusion workflow. Everything else you need is available in Workbench. Uses industry standards. You can use existing FBX models. Apply PBR to them. Um, if you've used other engines in the past, Infusion interface and tools will feel very familiar. Uh, support for legacy content from the existing uh, engines, etc. Workbench plugin support so you can extend it to your own need. Object-oriented scripting language, so the Enforce script there. Um, the modding support, etc. And then finally, they have a sales pitch towards developers. So again, makes me lead to believe that this is going to be available for developers to license, obviously. Because why would you pitch it towards, you know, the wording they're using? Again, this one really gets it. Um, so you can use the same tools that we use. So I, I don't understand how this isn't pitched at third-party developers. So here we go. Literally what developers can get out of this. 
So obviously it's experienced, uh, developed using C++ and HLSL shader language, avoid third-party bugs, built for the online age. You can see the people that went ahead and made this guy. Um, they've got 30 developers working on the technology base and so on. So obviously this sounds like a sales pitch to it, but hell, they've got their own website, infusionengine.com, for the engine itself. So you think, okay, obviously, clearly, this is a new competitor to Unreal, Unity, Unigine, Godot, etc. Except then there's this blog announcement. So this is Bohemia Interactive's website, uh, their developer blog, and there's a ton of great information in here. I will link this as well. Kind of covers a lot of the same information. You can also see a bit of a video of Infusion Engine. Um, you can see a little bit of it in action, uh, what it's capable of, and so on. So I'll just mute that down so you can see some of how the tooling works, a couple of screenshots, etc. If you want to learn a little bit more about Infusion, I do like the fact that it's built around the idea of using Blender. And I'm curious to hear if they're actually using Blender in-house. But some really interesting information here. It is scalable. You can see some uh, details of the technologies they use on the back end uh, in this blog. Um, a little bit about the technologies they're using for things. Um, the tools that are available in here. So you got the world editor, particle editor, animation editor, script editor, audio editor, behavior editor, procedural uh, animation editor, string editor, layout editor. And then we get to the announcements of what is coming in the future. And then we've got this sentence. Bohemia Interactive is not considering licensing the Enfusion engine to developers to create their own game at the moment. Oh, okay. So that's why I said you may not be getting your hands on this anytime soon, even though this is quite clearly a sales pitch to third-party developers. So I don't know what the deal is here. Uh, it does definitely sound like an engine that will be public-facing at some point in time. But at the same time, this sentence right here quite clearly says, nope, it's not. But the keywords here are at the moment. So I wouldn't be surprised that they're waiting to get it a little bit further along or whatever. I'm not sure. Like I said to start this video off, it's a brand new game engine coming soon from an industry leader that actually uh, has proven capabilities of creating their own engines in the past. Although I know some people that did Arma mods and <laughs> oh my god, they're some of the war stories you heard. Uh, but anyways, um, I don't know if they will end up licensing this or not. But from the looks of things, it sure seems like that's the intention. Anyways, interesting new development. Anyways, figured I would share it with all of you. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think that there are going to license or not. It does seem strange to have a, a dedicated website to your game engine and then sales pitch it about how you can use it like we do and then not actually make it available. So interesting to find out. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.